Okay, so first of all, go to Insert and get Add-ins. Then search for Advanced Formula. And this is the add-in that you want here called Advanced Formula Environment and click Add. If the Office Store isn't working for you, then you can download it off of the Microsoft website. And I'll leave this link in the video description. Now the Advanced Formula Environment will only work in some versions of Excel. You need Office 2021 or an Office 365 subscription. And with the subscription, it will only work with some channels and some versions of Excel. Once you have the add-in installed, go to Home and click on Advanced Formula Environment. I will then drag this out as far as it will go and click on Try Examples. And this will give us an example formula called If Blank for us to try. If I try and type in this formula now, it won't be there because it is not in the Name Manager. I need to click on this button here to sync names with Excel Name Manager and then it will be in the Name Manager so I can now use it. I'll do if blank, select this value here and if the value is blank, I want it to be replaced with the word cat instead. And then I'll drag this formula down. So anywhere there is a value, it is just copied across, but the blank cell is replaced with the word cat. Now the advanced formula environment is actually creating a hidden sheet which contains the code. This example down here, I don't really want, so I'm going to delete it. And then I am going to copy in another formula. So I'll go to this spreadsheet here and copy this formula, which I made in a previous video. Then go back to this spreadsheet and click the plus symbol. I need to give this formula a name, so I'll call it repeat x times and in the refers to box I'll paste in the formula that I just copied and then add and now we have this new formula down here and it will be laid out the way that the formula environment wants it to be. Now this formula actually isn't in the spreadsheet yet if I try and type it out it isn't there and that is because it's not in the name manager. I need to sync it with the name manager and then I will be able to use it. Now I can do repeat x times and I will repeat these values this number of times and enter. Now we can change the name of this formula and we can also edit it inside of this box. But the easiest way of editing the formulas is to go to the editor tab. Then you have a list of all of the formulas here and we can use Enter and Tab to lay these out in a way which is easier to read. And all of the formulas are separated by a semicolon. Now the Advanced Formula Environment will only work with versions of Excel that use English because it expects that all of the formulas will be written in English and also in some languages a semicolon is used to separate the variables instead of a comma and in the advanced formula environment a semicolon is used to separate the formulas. So the advanced formula environment will only work with English language versions of Excel. Now we'll type in another formula. I will call it missing and then do equals lambda and we can press tab to complete the word then open brackets and I will have two parameters in here called array 1 and array 2. Then the calculation will be count if and once the formula is in here it will tell us the names of the variables so I need a range which will be array 2 
and a criteria, which will be array one. Then we'll put a semicolon on the end in case we put any more formulas underneath it later on. Now, at the moment, the missing formula isn't actually in the spreadsheet. I need to sync it before I can use it. Now I'll do equals missing and select this array here and then make this array two and enter. And at the moment, it's counting how many times each of these values appears in this list. So everything gets a one except for tiger because that is missing from this list. Now I will edit the formula. So I will type in filter and open brackets and then we will filter array one and we will include only values where the count if formula is equal to zero and close brackets. Then we'll update this formula by syncing it again. Now the missing formula just gives us the word tiger because tiger is the only word that is in this list but is missing from this list. If I add rabbit in here and then increase the range, then it will also include the word rabbit because now both of these words are missing from this list. Now there are a number of keyboard shortcuts that work in the advanced formula environment. Control F will be used for find and control H for find and replace. You can also do control shift and plus to zoom in and control shift and minus to zoom out. Then there's of course control C to copy and control V to paste and control X to cut, control Z to undo, control Y to redo. You can also right click on a variable and change all occurrences and the keyboard shortcut for this is control F2 and this will allow you to change all of the variables that have the same name at once. I'll just undo that. You can also collapse the formulas to save space and you can also add in comments. So two forward slashes will let you comment out a line and then a forward slash and an asterisk will let you comment out multiple lines. And to end this comment, you need another asterisk and forward slash. Now there are two different methods for copying formulas from one spreadsheet to another. You can go to the manager tab and then click share and then copy to clipboard. Then we'll go to the other spreadsheet and open up the advanced formula environment. And then we will select from text and then control V to paste in and import. And if I scroll down, we now have another formula down here. Another way of copying a formula is to go to the editor tab and select it and copy it. And then we'll go back to the other spreadsheet and go to the editor tab and then we can paste it down here. Now at the moment, neither one of these formulas is actually in the spreadsheet. We need to sync it in order to be able to use those formulas. Another way of getting formulas into a spreadsheet is to use a URL for a GitHub gist. If we go to this web page here, this is a Microsoft article announcing the new advanced formula environment. And if you want to read this, I will leave a link in the description, but I'm just going to scroll down until I get to this link here, which takes us to an example, GitHub gist. This was created by a guy called Chris, and it contains lots of different Lambda formulas. And we can copy the URL up here and then go back to the Excel spreadsheet and then click on from URL and paste it in here. Then I will tick on add formulas to new namespace and type CG and import. And this will import a whole bunch of different formulas. We have the 
original three formulas here and then I have a new namespace with all of the formulas that we just imported and you can click here to make new namespaces as well in order to categorize your formulas. At the moment, none of these formulas are actually in the Excel spreadsheet. We need to sync them before we can use them. Now I can do equals CG and then it will show me all of the new formulas. So we'll try append rows and we'll take this array and this array and enter and it will stack them on top of each other. Now you can also make your own GitHub gists. In order to do this, you need to create a GitHub account. So go to github.com and sign up. You need to give it an email address, a password and a username. And say if you want marketing emails. Then do an I am not a robot puzzle then it will email you an activation code. Then you need to tell it what you're planning on using GitHub for. I don't think these answers really matter. Then create a free account. Once you've made your GitHub account, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. You need to go to the top corner and click on the plus symbol and add a new gist. Then we need to give this file a name, so I'll call it ka lambdas, and we can paste in our formulas here. So I will go to this spreadsheet and copy this formula, which I made in a previous video. Then we'll go back to the web page and paste it in. I need to give this formula a name, so it will be called list table. And we'll just do some quick formatting to this to make it look a little bit nicer. Then we need a semicolon at the end in case we want to add any more formulas underneath this later on. Then we can create this as a secret gist or a public gist. I will make mine public. And now we have our own URL which we can copy. And I'll go back to the spreadsheet and then import from URL and I will paste this one in and we won't put it in a new namespace this time and then click import. And if I go back to workbook and scroll down, you can see the new formula here. It's not in the spreadsheet yet, we need to sync it. And then I can do equals list table and select this table here and it will give me a list of all of the flowers and all of the trees in this table. Now the next thing we're going to do is create an Excel template using this file. So I'm going to close this and delete everything on the sheet and then go to file and save as and save this as an Excel template and it automatically changes it to the templates folder and then we'll rename this book and then save. Now we need to close this and now we can go to file and we can open the new Excel template that we just made here. If it doesn't automatically appear for you, you can go to more templates and then personal and select it here. And this will make a new Excel spreadsheet using the template. So if we do equals repeat, you can see the repeat X times formula appears. And if we open up the advanced formula environment, then we can see that all of the other formulas are also in this spreadsheet. Now I also want to save this template inside the Excel startup folder. So I am going to open up Windows File Explorer. And in my recent files, I have the template that I just made. So I'm going to copy this and then I will go to the C drive. 
In the C drive, I'll scroll down to Users, and then you need to click on whatever your name is on your computer. So it will be different for everybody. And then we'll need to go to App Data, and then Roaming, and then Microsoft, Excel, Excel Start, and then we'll paste in the Excel template into this folder. Now we can close this, and we need to close every one of the Excel spreadsheets that we currently have open. Then we can open a new Excel spreadsheet and press Control N. And if we do equals, repeat X times, you can see that this formula is here. Because the template is now in the Excel startup folder, it will use that template every time it makes a new Excel spreadsheet. If you have Excel spreadsheets that you made previously, or you have Excel spreadsheets that somebody else sent you, then they won't have these custom formulas because they weren't made using the template. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use the advanced formula environment in Excel, and that is everything.